Hi, this is Ron Simplified Myers, your Uplifting Life Partner. Today I wanted to come talk a little bit about uh, what are some of the things that you could actually blog about, whether it's video or just writing out a blog. The simplest thing to do is just go about what's going on in your, uh, in your day. Uh, for example, I was talking to Irma Empower Taylor not too long ago, and uh, she was about to run out to uh, do some things for her granddaughter. And the, the, the question was, well, how many people can actually go out right now, this time of day, uh, and go do this? Because normally they have to be at work, therefore they don't have the flexibility to go do that. They're sitting at work stressed because they can't go out and, and, and do the shopping that they unfortunately waited to do at the last minute. But when you have the freedom of your time, you could actually do that. So that's kind of something that was just going to happen in the regular uh, daily process, but you could turn that into a video. Another thing, uh, as far as like trying to figure out what it is that people were really looking for. Um, I hear people all the time, they keep talking money, 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 money. I keep telling you guys, you can talk money all you want, bottom line, money doesn't move the average person. I keep telling you, I have a background over 25 years in the financial service field. If money was what drove people, 9 out of 10 people wouldn't be broke. That's the bottom line. Um, so, to me, that kind of answers that question. So, the key is... Now, people, there are certain things people want that money will allow them to get, but if you promote that, you'll get people before you'll get them selling the money. Because a lot of people have a lot of different programming around money. Some people believe you have to rob people in order to get money. Uh, you, you, uh, good people finish last. They got all these different uh, things that they tie to money. And if their character won't allow them to do those things, you see how you're hurting them? Because you're trying to tie them to something that they've have they've linked up so much pain to it that they can't they can't get through that particular pain. Like Tony Robbins teaches, we do uh, as human beings, we'll do anything to avoid pain and gain pleasure. So if you keep telling me about something I've linked up pain to, which is money, then you're going to lose me. But you got to find out what's of interest to me. And again, I'm telling you guys, nine out of ten people, money's just not going to move them. Bottom line, or they wouldn't, or nine out of ten people wouldn't be broke. And again, you know, I'm not gonna put labels on people. I wish other people would stop doing that. They're not losers and all that other garbage. The bottom line is, most people have just lost hope and they've linked up some bad programming. So anyway, bottom line, what I was getting to is find out what it is people are really looking for, and then talk about that. Um, I was again, we're we're talking a little bit, and I mentioned Irma about you know a, the same subject about money. And I said, if you ask people about their jobs, that's not number one on the list. My background, again, in finances, when I sat across the kitchen table, I realized that money was not people's problem. They weren't on the same team. Communication. That's why people are getting divorced. Our society keeps pushing the money issue. Folks, that ain't it. But anyway, let me quit getting off on tangent. I guess the money thing kind of hits me because I keep telling people quit trying to promote that because it's not what moves people. But anyway, bottom line is, so I told her, I said, Find out what people are really looking for, and if you uh, you can find out what is it like for from a job perspective, what people are looking for. So we had actually put up this article that talks about the ten things people hate about their job. You guys know what number one was? It says boss sucks. That's the number one uh, thing people hate about their job is boss sucks. And then number two, let me see if I can get that to pull up here real quick. But number two was had to do with their passion. The fact that people uh, lost interest basically in, in their in their company, um, their desire to be there. They're just and you know that most people are at their job. They're just kind of going through the motions. I'm here to get a paycheck, and that's pretty much all they do. It just amazes me that those same people expect a raise when raise time come around. They think they're owed a raise. Folks, if you ain't doing your job, you actually should be getting a dedu deduction from your income. But, I mean, that's, that's a whole other program. Get some people out on that one. But the bottom line, if you ain't doing your job, you shouldn't be getting paid. But a lot of people think just because they show up, that means I should get paid. Okay, but anyway, we won't get on that subject. Uh, number three was people feel they're not being challenged. And then um, number four, what was number four? Number four, man, this thing is jumping around. I'm all, all the way up to, like, number eight or something like that. But let's see real quick. What was number four? Number four. Okay, you know how that works. Number four is there's too much red tape, which we all know that's politics. And then number five on the list 
had to do with people not being happy with their income, their pay. That's number five, folks. And if you keep out here promoting it, you're losing people because you, you're offering the wrong thing. And you talk about what people hated their job and income is number five. I know most of us believe it should be number one because they broke, but it is number five. Reality is reality. Now, I'm not saying take this article and it's, it is the article. But I'm going to tell you guys, any article I've ever read, I've never seen money at the top. It's always four, five, six down the list because it's not what drives people again, but we won't get into that subject. But anyway, so what I was saying is you take either one of these topics and have a field day with it. You know, number one being they, 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 their boss, you know, that's the number one is their boss sucks. And you, you talked about that a little bit and said, man, you know, when I used to go to work and, you know, me and my boss, you know, the things that I had to go through. I mean, it was a it was a rough time. I mean, they had no respect for me. They had no respect for my family, my time. I mean, you can go on and on about why ball sucks or whatever. And then bottom line, you go, but you know what? That's why I decided to go into business for myself. And um, this is what I chose as a vehicle. Man, if you guys are ready to get off of that, that, that wheel and you're in the same position I'm in, whether it's you just want to make some additional income, you know, come come look at come hook me up. You know, something like that. But bottom line is you can go through that list. There's 10 videos. They just told you 10 things people hate about the job. That's 10 videos right there. And then you can play around with those topics and make it more than 10 videos because each subject is a video. But you can just write a list of, did you know there was 10 things that people hate about their job? Isn't it amazing that we have all these different things that we hate about our job? What are you going to do to make sure that you can start crossing things off of your list? You know, so bottom line is you can turn that 10 into however many, and that's just one article. You can search around and compare articles. But bottom line, I just wanted to share some quick tips on things you can do to maybe come up with some blogs. There's always something to do. Go on Facebook, listen to what people are talking about. Go to Twitter, see what people are talking about, etc., etc. All you got to do is see what people are talking about and then give your perspective on it, and there goes your video. But again, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.